Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to make a copy of a database in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can make a copy of a database in SQL Server. So let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server 2019 instance and on this instance I got few databases and I want to make the copy of India database with some other name. For example, I will just make a copy of this database and will name the new database as Canada. So let's try to do that. So to do that what you need to do we can just right click on a database and go to the task. Inside task there is an option copy database. So we need to click on this one copy database and the copy database wizard will open up and now we need to click on next and then we need to give the server name. So maybe you started the wizard on this one but if you want to for example copy the database from another server then you can just type the server name here but my server name is the same one from which I want to copy the database and it is asking for the authentication so either you can give the windows authentication or you can give the SQL server authentication but in this case I will use the windows authentication so I will click on next and now it is asking for the destination server to which server you want to copy the database so I want to copy the database on the same server so that's why I don't need to change the server name here now again it is asking do you want to use the windows authentication or sql server authentication so i will be using the windows authentication to connect to the destination server and now i can click next so it is saying that sql server agent does not appear to be running on the destination servers so to execute this particular wizard the sql server agent job should be running on the destination server so we can just close this one cancel and now we can just right click and start the SQL Server agent job from here. So if you see at the moment, just before the SQL Server agent, we got a cross mark, which means that the SQL Server agent service is not running. And to start the SQL Server agent service, we can right click on it and click on start. So click yes. So this will start the SQL Server agent service on the SQL Server. So the SQL Server agent job has been started now. You can see a green mark just before the sql server agent and now i can just right click on the india database and go to the task and click on copy database so i can just start the wizard again i can click on next our source server is the same sql server the 19 instance and i will be using the windows authentication and our destination server is also same and i will be using the windows authentication in this case as well and i can click next there are two options use the detach and attach method so this method is faster and uh, the another one is use the sql server management object method so this is a slower in the first option actually the database will be uh, offline for the moment when it is being copied and in the second option the database will be online and you can access the data object so if you want that your database should be online but it will take a longer time so you should choose the option number two use the sql management and if you want that the copy database operation it should be very fast and you don't care if the source database will be offline for that particular duration then you can use the use the detach and attach method so i will be using this method in this case and now i can click next now from here there are two options the first one is the move the second one is the copy so if you want to move the database then you can just click on the first one move and if you want to copy so this is the default option the copy database so if you see that there is a checkbox just before the India database and if you want to copy multiple databases then you can just select all of them. So I will be copying only the India database so that's why I can just let the checkbox checked in for the India database and now I can click next. Now it is asking for me to provide the database name for the destination database so I will call the destination database as Canada and if you see as soon as I type the name Canada, the file name also got changed here, the MDF file and the LDF files. And now I can click next. So this is saying that this wizard will create an integration service package with the properties you specify. This will be the package name. So I don't care about the package, so I can click next. And now there are two options. Either you can run this particular wizard immediately or you can just schedule it as well. So if you want to schedule the job to run maybe at later time then you can schedule otherwise you can run immediately so I will run the job immediately and I can click next so the wizard is ready to copy the database from this particular SQL instance to the this particular SQL instance okay and the destination file will be created as this one Canada.mdf and Canada underscore log.mdf 
and the package schedule to run immediately so we can click on the finish so this has started copying the database India and restored as a Canada so the process got succeeded and I can close this one and if I refresh the databases then I should see a database Canada there so you can see I got a new database Canada and there should be a table India in this particular database because there was a table India in the original database yeah this one so I think that's good that we can just copy the database so instead of using the legacy backup and restore method we can use this copy database option yeah so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much